Hey, uh, here we are again to talk about um, JavaScript, and we're going to talk about using JavaScript with um, web APIs, right? And we started this project with, um, you know, working with the Giphy API, and we've got our API key set up, and uh, we made a test request, you know, just in the browser, but it was working. So now let's try and do that same thing, but with um, JavaScript, right, from our web page. So, uh, I'm going to go into my editor here, and this is going to be our search query. We'll, later, we'll get it from the input field, right? And this will, but for right now, we'll just search for cats, right? And then uh, we've got our API key here, so that's set. And then we've got the path set up. So when we've, we've, you know, concatenated or combined, you know, the query here and the API key over here, right? And so on the next line now, we can make a request. So let's talk about how we're going to do that, right? Um, we're going to use this, this method called fetch. So fetch is a method that um, takes a path, right? So you say which endpoint or which, you know, address on the internet you want to request data from, and fetch will load that data, okay? And it can load all kinds of data. We're going to load JSON data, okay? And fetch actually returns this, this object called a promise, okay? So I'm going to say const p for promise equals um, fetch, right? We're going to actually rewrite this in a little bit, but I'm going to spell it out the long way first so we kind of have a, a good idea of what's going on behind the scenes, right? We can write it in a shorter form. And we'll get, we'll get our promise here. So we say fetch, and then it returns the promise. Now, promise before... Before we get into like a long talk about promises, because promises can be a big um, a big subject, um, let's just say we're gonna like look at the promise in like a, a very simple way today. Okay, this is an object that can be in one of three states. So it can be pending. That means we're still waiting for a response from wherever we requested it from. It can be uh, resolved. That means that we got the response and everything was okay or it can be rejected, like we made a request to the internet and then something went wrong and it failed. Okay, so we got three states, right? It can be uh, pending, resolved, or rejected, okay? And what you do with a promise is you say promise.then. So we're gonna say, hey, promise, and then do this, right? So if my promise is resolved, then the promise is gonna run the code that we give it in the then method. So this is called a callback. So a callback is when you pass a function to another function, right? So here, the then method is a function that belongs to the promise, but the function that I typed inside the parentheses here is a callback. So this is the callback that I'm giving to the promise. And I'm saying like, hey, a callback says like, hey, when you're done doing something, why don't you call me back, right? So when the promise is done processing whatever it's doing, then it will run this code in the case where it was successful, right? So if the, the promise was resolved, then it will run the code here, okay? And what does it do? Well, it's gonna give us a response object, okay? So we actually have to do this in two steps. So the first request with fetch just makes a connection to the server. And then when that's, you know, set up, it gives us a response object. And we have to tell it, hey, you know, um, can you, uh, you know, can you send me the data in this way? You know, and I have to say, like, how I want to stream the data. So when I make my first request with fetch, right, it's going to give me the promise, and when that promise resolves, it's going to give me, it's going to call my callback and pass into the callback a response object, and that response is really just a connection. And then from there, I need to um, to say like how I want to stream the data, right? So I'm saying like, it, think about it this way, like at the point when you get this response right here, it's kind of like you've grabbed the end of a little piece of thread, right? And when you um, resolve the response, you're pulling the thread in, right? And the thread is like the data that you want. So right at this response, we've grabbed the little end of the thread, but we haven't spooled it yet or pulled it all in, right? So how do we do this? Well, what we're going to do 
is we're going to say response dot json because we want to handle the response as json so here's the weird thing is this is going to um return a promise <laughs> okay i know this is hard to follow but don't just stick with me right so what i want to do here is i want to return a promise here and then call dot then on that promise right so if i say return response json this returns a promise let's say um promise right and then we're going to get another promise here okay and then we need to resolve this promise with a dot then and at that point we're going to get the actual json data okay so i'm going to say like you know if we're returning something here then what i want to do is i want to call dot then on the thing that returns so i'm actually going to say const here and then i'll say uh, promise number two equals um and actually let me move this up here so this is our, our promise two, and let's call this promise number one. And then on promise number two, I'm gonna say dot then again, just like I did up here. And what I'll do is I'll put a function in here for a callback, right? So here's my other function there. And this one's gonna actually get the JSON data, okay? And what I'll do here is I'll console log my JSON data, okay? So I know that seems a little complicated maybe the first time, but we'll rewrite this in kind of a simpler way too, but I'm writing it the long way here just to make it clear what's happening, right? First call is going to return a promise. The second call is gonna give us a response when that promise, when the first promise is resolved. And then we need to call um, a method on the response to say how to stream the data and then that method returns a second promise and then we need to call then on that second promise and the callback for the second promise is what's going to handle the actual data okay so let's give it a try and uh, you know I'll open up my my gif folder here and here's my file and I'll open this up in my browser and um, there's my search box. And right now we're not using the search box, but the results from our code should end up in the console. So um, if I open up the console here, I'll zoom in on it a little bit, you can see that it says, you know, object right there. And if I open that up, you'll see here is all the data from Giphy, right? So this is all that data that we saw over here, but it's just kind of nicer format and if I open it up here, you can see this is an array of GIFs, right? And every one of those GIFs in this array is an object with a whole bunch of properties. And that's all the stuff that we saw earlier. So everything's working, right? Um, so that was um, kind of a long story for, for Fetch and the Promise. But let's actually rewrite this in like kind of a, a simpler way, right? So, and you'll see this a lot, like on the internet, like everybody will kind of write these in a more compact form. So, you know, let me get rid of this comment here and then let's rearrange this a little bit, okay? So we had three steps. We call fetch, we get our first promise. We resolve that promise with dot then and return the promise from dot JSON, right? And then we call dot then on the second promise and handle that promise by logging the JSON to the console, okay? So uh, so how can we shorten this, right? Well, if this first um, fetch returns a promise here, like promise two, then actually you can um, just call dot then right after you call fetch. Right, so I could write it like this. I could say fetch dot then, and then this second promise when it returns the JSON, this P2 would actually be here, like this, right? But actually, you know, and we don't need to have the, the P1 like in a variable, right? So, so, but actually, you know, if this dot then, which begins here and ends right there, returns a promise and we're just going to call dot then on it. Actually, you could just call your dot then 
right here like this, right? And then you don't even need this one. So this reads a lot better, right? So I can say fetch for this path. Um, uh, you know, this function's gonna handle the response. It's gonna return the JSON, you know, request, right? And then we get a promise there. And then we're gonna say dot then. And then it's gonna, this promise is gonna resolve with this callback here and return the JSON to us. And then we log the JSON, right? So, and then if you want, you can actually put a line return after the, um, the dot thens like this if you want. Um, but this reads pretty good. So if we say fetch, then return your, your promise, then return or handle some JSON, right? And so if we save that and, and look at it here in the console, you can see there it worked again, right? So I see all the code here, okay? So we'll talk more about this as we, as we build this project, but if you've gotten this far, then you're, you've done like all the hard work and this is actually not very hard, right? We kind of got everything here. I mean, you know, you can run into problems with syntax and stuff, but, but there's not a lot of code here. So I think that this, you know, any problems here you can solve, right? So um, now the bigger work that we're gonna do is, um, you know, getting the, the GIFs out of here and handling, you know, the JSON response, and that's going to be more work, right? Um, this is not too hard to do. So anyway, um, thanks for watching, and, um, you know, uh, any questions, please post them to the comments.